something we like to do in the summertime is called claw hogging. It's a soft shell, almost like a clam. Um, they're really good in seafood chowders. Uh, they're really good to eat just like a clam. It's a soft shell clam is what it is. Only it's not like a piss clam or a bar clam. It's a little bit smaller, a little bit more meatier. Um, almost tastes like a cooked oyster. Personally, I love claw hogs. Um, like I said, I make them in seafood chatter. I use it a lot in seafood chatter. Um, seafood, um, Alfredo. Anything that I would use clams in, because clams are a little bit scarce these couple of last years, um, unless you're, um, what's called dredging them, uh, which we don't have a dredger, obviously. Uh, we're not a commercial fisher, we're a subsistence fisher. So, we do a lot of quahogs. So in a night per person, you can pick 100 quahogs per person without a license in BEI for subsistence fishing. So tonight I can get 100 and Brody can get 100. So we'll be at our max 200. Um, we're going down for an hour and see what happens. Where are we going? Quahogging. You like quahogging? Yeah, you're too tired to do anything. <laughs> So you're gonna go stomp on in the water for some quahogs. I got my socks. You got your socks. I got my socks. All right, go find the bucket. Okay. I would bring water shoes, but I don't have any. Go find the bucket. So to quahog, to get a legal measurement, you can see that there it is. You need a giant washer with the space inside being two inches wide. If the quahog passes through, it's too small. If it doesn't, it's legal size. So we keep this on, a, on our truck. And when we go quahogging, this is our measuring tool to know if they're legal or illegal. And it's very important to make sure you're taking legal product um, because one, it can get you a large fine jail time it's a very serious offense to be getting shorts here in PEI. So you definitely want to be measuring your quahogs every time you go out and not just eyeballing them. Have a washer to be able to measure. You got, you got some quahogs, you got some big ones. This, these ones are really both size, they don't fit all the way through. So yeah, you got some at all. Socks are all wet, my feet feel weird. Yeah. Pretty sunset to go with it, too. Mm. The horse flies are being annoying. What are you doing? Stop. <laughs> I want to go catch it. Still, I can use my fingers. That would be a small one. Passes it right through. through. So it's all good. You want ones that go like this. They don't pass through. That's legal. What are you going to make with the things? I said yummy. <laughs> Silly mummy. Oh, there goes another bass over there. Besides your ripples. <laughs> One, two, right beside you too. Mm -hmm. Imagine if you just jumped in and catched one. It would get all wet though. Hmm? That was a weedle one. He was almost right. It was a yeetle one? Not quite big enough. Kind of hard to see you with the way the sun is right now. Yeah. yeah. So, much seaweed. so when you're fishing, you're allowed to have 100, 100 per person. person tonight. So. Oh, ah, yeah, yeah. You okay? Crab, what was that? Crab. Eh. Yeah, crabs keep. Huh? 
What? Okay. All right, time to go home. We got some claw hogs, not as many as we wanted. Not the legal catch. We are under big time. We may have got 40, but it's worth a shot. Now time to go home. So we didn't get a whole hell of a lot. We got about 40, which is less than half of our quota. You can do 100 per person per day. So we did it about 40. I'll let these cook, then I'm gonna can them. And that'll be my first bottle of claw hogs, and I'm of course gonna do more. So this is the first cook. There's plenty more to go. So out of all those claw hogs, that's all the meat I got, which is actually only enough for probably two bottles. And I'm just going through the shelves now. Make sure I didn't miss anybody else because sometimes you do. No, I got all the shells clean. So I'm not even going to bottle it. It's not enough to bottle. I'm actually just going to freeze it in um, an air seal bag. And then I have it for when we do chowders. I'll put it in the chowders. So quad hog meat, like I said, looks like clam meat. It's about that big. It looks very similar to clam meat. So that would be your tongue. The lips, this is the lips. And that would be the scallop there. There's like two scallops. So tongue, lip, scallops. Um, yeah, sometimes if you feel it, and same with bar clams, you will feel a pearl in them. Um, clams, all clam species, scallops, um, can have pearls in them. I used to work for a clam processing plant, um, and we used to find pearls in piss clams and bar clams all the time. So yeah, that's what you call the tongue right here. Your pearls or your scallops right here. And this part would be your lip or the membrane. So yeah, I'm just gonna put these in freezer bags and freeze them. Thanks for watching everybody, and that's uh, picking quahogs. And why we do that, like I said, is for subsistence fishing, um, because we use the meat throughout the winter for our seafood chatters and seafood alfredos and such. It's a great thing to do. It's a great pastime with your children. Um, get them out in the water, get them stomping, pick your quahogs. They have to be two inches diameter. Um, are two inches wide. They can't fish through that circle um, washer I showed you. If they fit through, then they're too small. If they get halfway through, they're fine. Uh, but they just can't fit all the way through. Have a great day, and thanks for watching.